I recently got a bunch of 16x2 character LCD modules from uh, Adafruit, part number 181, with the blue backlight LED, and they very conveniently provided not only the, the LCD, of course, but also a header and a little pot, little blue three pin potentiometer like that. So you can very easily plug that into a breadboard and of course that pot is for the contrast control. See I already got this one hooked up. My whole the whole point of this is that I don't like that this pot is external to the module. I would like the pot to be part of the module itself, part of the the contrast control to be built in so I don't have to plug in a pot every time that I plug this into a breadboard and, and uh, hook it up to the microcontroller or the Arduino or, or whatever. I want it all to be completely uh, built in. So I'm going to outline a step-by-step -step process to do something like this where you got the pot already on the module ready to go and you don't need to even think about it once you start using it. So this LCD is Tin Sharp Industrial Company, and there's the part number right there, TC1602A-01T. And again, got these from Adafruit, part number 181. And, uh, you know, all the stuff is right there, you can look it up. Anyway, the pinout, um, or at least the portion of the pinout that is of, of concern right here, is pin 1s, 2, and 3. So, ground, VDD which is 5 volts and V naught which is the input to the contrast control and of course that goes to the wiper of the pot and it would be very convenient if the pot itself could easily go straight onto the pins 1, 2, 3 on the pot line up the pins 1, 2, 3 on the LCD module but that is not the case there's a crossover right here that we have to take into account so we're just going to go ahead and bend the pins on the pot. Alright, so first there's pin 1 and 3 and pin 2 is of course in the middle. And we bend, take pin 1 about halfway down, bend it down like that. And then pin 2, just yank it down entirely like that and turn it over on roughly 45 degree angle pin 3 pull that one over and bend the end of it over like that and then pin 2 bring it over on top like that so the end of each pin is roughly on the same level and then of course we can solder them directly onto the LCD module and I think I'll just bend this one back a little bit there we go so there we go now we got pins 1 and 3 or both ends of the fixed resistance uh, right next to each other to match the ground and the VDD and then the wiper pin 2 that goes all the way out to here and that's going to go on pin 3 of the LCD module alright so there's all the pins soldered in put the header in soldered all the pins except 1, 2 and 3 because I want to cut those short so they're sticking up just about one millimeter above the surface of the board and then put a little bit of solder on there not too much just enough to get it all covered up and join them together and I'm gonna tin the pins of the pot as well get a little bit of solder on them then it's just a matter of soldering the pot onto the pins very carefully, of course. We've got uh, the pot pin 1 lines up with the module pin 1. And then the crisscross pins, they go to 
the other two are right next to it of course so I get that one settled and I'll just solder these others on here just reflow the solder that's already there and maybe add a little more for good measure and all right there we go you can see the pins are crossed over but not touching each other there pins two and three and uh, all that's left now is to fill up just inject a whole bunch of hot glue in there there we go gooey gobs of hot glue all around that'll hold it in place so does it work let's plug it in LED lights up and contrast yep contrast looks pretty good too awesome so there we go there's a module that has one less step to actually set it up in order to make it working because the pot is already mounted on there and you don't have to wor worry about it ever again um, one other thing that could be done to minimize the parts count if you include wires on your breadboard as parts and that would be just hard wiring the uh, VDD and ground straight over to the LED connections over here on pins 15 and 16 but I decided to leave those go um, in case they ever need to be hooked up to a different power supply or pulse width modulation or something like that to vary the brightness of the backlight but at least the contrast is already good to go and don't need to worry about that ever again so thanks for watching Give this video a thumbs up if you learned something. See you later.